Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. In today's video, I'm going to share how I made a Christmas tablecloth. So as you see, this is a beautiful Christmas tablecloth. Now these are felt roses so I'll show you how to make felt roses and also how to put it in a tablecloth or any decoration that you wish so as you see these are felt roses so I'll show you how to make the felt roses and then I stitch the roses to this white fabric and this over here I just drew them and then I did chain stitch and after I did the chain stitch and this is lazy daisy stitch uh, leaves um, some of them are chain stitch and some of them are stem stitch and these leaves are lazy daisy stitch and this is a felt flower and I put some sequin in it and so this is you can make it tablecloth or linen something like bed cover pillow cover cushion cover anything that you wish and you can put it so i'm going to show you how to make it so as you see i'm going to make the felt flower and put it in the center of this so this is how you're going to make a felt flower you take a felt fabric and you take any sort of glass or so I'm going to show you how to make the felt roses. So you take a little piece of felt fabric and then you take something round, circular. And I have a chop and I'm going to just outline it like this. After I outline it, now I'm going to cut it on the outline. So I could have done two flower in this one. So this is kind of you have to be sure not to make it in the center. So as I, I have this now, once you have this, now you go cut it like this. Like this. Okay, so once I have this, this kind of structure, now you have to, so once you have this structure, now you take a tray or something and put your structure like this, open, open your structure. And now I'm going to take my, this glitter dimensional fabric paint. I'm going to just outline it. It's kind of got dried. So I'm just going to outline it. Now after I outline it, so I'm going to create like this 10 or 20. So after I create like 10 or 20 flowers like this as much as I need it, then I will let it sit and it will become something like this. So this is dry. So once it dried, now I'm going to hold it like this and fold it. So once I fold it like this, so 
so it becomes a structure like this now I will take my needle and thread I'm using the same color needle and thread as this felt and then I'm going to go from inside here I have to put a knot so I'm going to go from inside here and I'm going to stitch all the layers and then I'm going to go over here and then stitch it so this way it is secure and I'm going to go inside and give little bit more stitches in the layers Now I'm going to go to the back and in the back you see this so I will just give stitches like this so it will hold it securely. So like this I will stitch it. So you just give it a structure, a form of the rose. So now you see my structure is solid and I have given it a nice structure. So after the structure is given, now you put it wherever you want to put it. So I'm going to just put it here. I'll set it down and then so now you go the way you wish you stitch it to secure it here so I can do it from the back as well as long as I make sure I secure it very nicely. So I'm just going to continue stitching until it's secured very nicely. You can do more stitches too on the between the layers and everything. So it's up to you. But just be sure you secure the rose. After that, I'm going to. So the rose is secure. Now you can lay it flat like this and go with your needle and you can stitch more. That's what I did with those. But now I'm going to show you what to do in the center. So in the center, I just took my little dimensional fabric paint. And just put one of these like this so this is your felt flower now I will let it dry for a while so this is the felt flower as you see how easy it is and then how beautiful it looks wherever you put it so it looks more pretty because of putting this trim in the side with the paint and this will not wash away it will stay there just be sure to stitch it properly on the back you have to give few more rounds of stitches so I'm going to show you how I did the stem stitch with that with another fabric so now I'm going to show you how I did this this design 
and I just randomly put this roses in between the design but I'll show you how I did this design now since this looks really nice and you can do a tablecloth during Christmas so um, let me show you how I did that I have to do the hem the side of this fabric but I'll do that later right now just to show you so I'll start I'll leave here about an inch and then I'll start it so this is just this randomly I did it so just this design and here I put one red rose and then I continued with this randomly this design and then here it goes and you got the idea now you can put it in a frame or you can do without the frame I did it without the frame and what I did is went from here and I did a stem stitch you can do chain stitch as well it's up to you whatever you prefer so as you see Let me put it in the so I'm just going to continue with my stem stitch As you see, this is just stem stitch. So like this, I can, I'm going to continue till the end. So as you see, I did my stem stitch this design, and then I'm going to put my this rose over here. So I already show you how to put the rose, so I'm not going to put the rose in this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put this sequin. In this one I put some sequin. So to the chain stitch, I'm going to put some sequin. Just put on top of the chain stitch give like one or two inches gap so like this I put some sequin and let it dry for an hour So right here this is how you're going to put the sequin on top of a chain stitch and let it dry and also over here I put the rose so as I show you how to make the felt rose how to design it and put it stitch it so that was the project for today I hope you like it don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and I will see you with many 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 more creations thank you have a good night